Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it felt so good to say that. I I need to do things a little bit differently because I have not filmed a plan with me in such a very long time that I feel like I need to go back to like elementary and like reintroduce myself, kind of give a life update as to like what's been going on. I don't even remember the last time I actually filmed a plan with me. Like, I just, I don't know. I should have looked, but I didn't. Um, so let me go through the kit that I'm using, and then as I'm putting down, like, what I call the bones of the kit, um, I will kind of introduce myself or reintroduce myself and tell you guys, like, what's been going on? Where have I been? All those things because, man, life is nuts, right? Okay, so... I am going to be using the Summer Fun Kawaii Subscription. You know what, guys? That hasn't changed. I still can't say that. Kawaii Subscription Kit. And this is from Sweet Kawaii Design. I have not used this yet. Um, one, it's just now getting it to be summer, so that's a thing. Um, but how cute. I don't know that I'm going to use the rainbows. Oh, but the mini checklists are really cute. Maybe I sprinkle those in. I don't know. I don't know. Cute. Full boxes, all little icons. So, I, this. I'm here for this. Um, Tasia ended up coming out, I think, with like a full sheet of these, I believe. Am I dreaming that? Maybe I'm dreaming. I swear, I swear there's a full sheet, but you know what? Like, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um, and then I have not bought washi in a very long time, um, but I, I splurged earlier this month and got a handful of rolls, so I ended up with this, like, rainbow foil, so we're going to use that. All right, so. Uh-oh, what sound was that? Sorry guys, I am currently watching the tiny one. He's supposed to be napping. I believe he is napping, but I also have the dogs. So I think I think that was one of the dogs squeaking. I'm not sure. Um, anywho, let's start going into this as I put down the bones of my kit. You guys are going to have to bear with me very much so because I have not done this in a very long time. Planning, yes, although... I will say, um, planning did take a little bit of a back burner, um, like the last nine, nine months or so. So, uh, there's a lot of weeks in my planner that are not, like, fully completed. I'm gonna have to go back and do those. My memory planner is pretty well ignored, um, and it, it hurts, and I think it was giving me anxiety, and then, like, I wasn't wanting to plan, because, like, planning wasn't being my self-care anymore, it was becoming like a chore that I had to do. Anyway, that's not even why I've been gone, that's just kind of like a, a rambling thought of like, up until this past week, I hadn't even had like a good place to plan, um, but I'll, I'll get into that I guess in a little bit, or maybe I won't, and I'll have to like backpedal in a future video, but hi! My name is Kayla, and I am from Whole Lot of Plans, and I live in a tiny rural town outside of Kansas City on the Kansas side, and I uh, live at home with my husband, Drew, and we now have two sons and two dogs. So <laughs> we have, um, first a little bit about me, I guess. I am a pediatric school-based occupational therapist. I have been with my company and my schools this whole, in August, I will be starting my 10th year, which is, that's crazy to me, um, that I've been there like that long already. It feels like I just started. Um, but I'm currently working for just two school districts at the moment. I started with four. I have like worked my way down to just two. Um, 
but yeah so you'll hear me talk about my job a lot and my schools a lot I try not to name my schools names by like their actual school names but sometimes I kind of write them in as I'm planning so just be respectful of my life and don't be creepy weirdos um, my husband is an aviation mechanic he works for um, one of the smaller airports in Kansas City and does maintenance on like um, expensive jets I guess is like the best way to put it like private jets uh, like privately owned but uh, okay so that's what he does he did actually just finish his degree in December he has his bachelor's of bachelor's of science and applied business business technology or something it's very long I never remember I had to take a picture of it because I could never remember what it was um, but he he went back to school and got his bachelor's in that so what the future holds as far as his job and what he wants to do I don't I don't know um, but that is not for me to decide at this moment uh, I just am trying to be supportive of whatever he wants to do um, he just knows that he doesn't want to work, like, do a physical labor job too much longer. It is wearing down on him physically. Um, he was in a motorcycle accident. Gosh, like, well, 2014. I think the year we got engaged, I believe. Oh, maybe it was before that. Oh, I don't know. It's been a long time. No, it would have been the time I was in Topeka before that. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's been a long time since he's had his motorcycle accident. Um, but in that accident, he hurt his back. We're not really um, convinced that he didn't actually break his back in that accident. Um, he's had back troubles ever since. So, regardless of the situation, he hurt his back. It's it's slowly wearing on him. So, he's he's going to be looking to be... Finding a new job at some point in the future. Um, but there are some circumstances that are kind of holding us back from that at the moment. Um, so we do have two boys. Uh, Jensen is our oldest. He is going to turn three in August. Three guys. If you've been here for all of Jensen, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's turning three in August and I... I'm not ready. Some days I feel like he already acts that old. Um, I feel like he is, he's very intelligent when it comes to like practical streets type stuff. Not like the pre-academics, although like he is pretty intelligent with like the pre-academics like um, shapes and counting and colors and things like that. But I would say more like street smarts like he can manipulate in like a good way not like being manipulative in a in a harmful way but he just knows how to work a situation to his advantage and I like that's not a skill you just learn I don't know where he picked that up but it's it's kind of funny to watch him process things um we have been potty training since like last July is when we started the whole potty training process and who guys <laughs> that was a process indeed um I will say that we have had zero accidents in over a week potty or poop and we had been really struggling with the poop there for a little bit um getting his like GI tract um, settled. It was just like in a constant state of irritation. Um, so now that we've got that kind of like settled in, he's he's learning how to poop in the potty and we've not had an accident in over a week, which is really exciting. And so I consider him to be fully potty trained. Um, at this time, he's telling us when he needs to go. He's recognizing um, he can hold it. Um, not for super long. Like if he tells us he needs to go, we know we need to find a toilet like stat. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of him. I think he's doing very well. He is very athletic. Um, he's very strong. He's incredibly strong. He is still doing swim every Tuesday night. Um, and then he's doing gymnastics every Saturday morning. He's also 
doing soccer provided at his daycare on Tuesdays as well. So he's getting exposed to just a lot of things right now and he seems to really enjoy all of it. So I'm just excited to see him grow into this tiny human, um, like a bigger tiny human because he's growing. But <laughs> um, gosh, I just love that kid so much. He He's a very unique individual in like all the best ways and I I just love it um so that's Jensen he's our oldest and then on April 10th of this year I had my second son Collins and so he is almost two months old at this point but he I he's gonna be a big boy I think like I think he's going to be and outgrow Jensen. Jensen's been very average, like low average to average on all of like the like the physical charts, like weight, height, all those things. And so I don't know, this kid Collins is an eating machine and he is growing like crazy. Um he's almost two months and we're growing out of a lot of three month stuff right now, which is it's crazy to me because that's just not the situation that we had with Jensen. So I need to find, sorry guys, I'm gonna apologize for two things. I am gonna yawn profusely through this. One, I have an almost two month old, but um, we've also had a sick toddler this weekend. And um, I don't know, I'm very, <laughs> very tired, but um, Talking and planning always makes me yawn too. Also, my nails, I am in between manicures at this point, so um, naked nails just needed to breathe, and they're pretty bad. I've been breaking them like crazy because of washing all the bottles. It's like thinning my nails out, and I'm just not keeping up with like the nail strengthener. Anyway, Collins, he is, um, he's gonna be big, I think. He is such a good baby just like Jensen was. I don't know what I did to get lucky to have two really good babies. Um, their love for each other is really incredible. Uh, it was tough for like all of three days and things got easier really after that. The juggling of two ch children, like physically juggling them as far as like getting too ready, too out the door, to you know, of everything and the laundry, like that stuff's not, um, very easy but as far as like the emotional impact that it had on Jensen that was pr over pretty quickly it was a lot better than I had anticipated um so on that front that's really good uh actually the boys share a room which is funny we were not anticipating really having Colin sleep in there at night um, but pretty much from the day we brought him home, Jensen did not want to sleep unless his baby brother was in the room. Um, so for naps, for our afternoon nap and then evening, Collins starts up in the room with Jensen and it's gone really well. So he is not sleeping through the night, although he's just waking up, um, uh, just one time a night right now. And that's with putting him down at like 7... Seven to eight, depending on what we've got going on with Jensen. So, I know with Jensen, we were keeping him up. Like, we would do one last night feed. Like, we would wake him up and feed him before we went to bed. And we're just not really doing that with Collins because they're sharing a room. So, I don't want to go in and wake up Jensen um, to do, like, a feeding and then not be able to get Collins to go back down and... Uh, so it's a little bit different just having the, the two of them share a room, but it's going well. Physically, after having a baby, I gained a lot more weight this time around, so I don't really feel very great about, like, my body. Um, but I just got cleared to start working out last week, and then I didn't work out last week because it was insane. And I'm starting my workouts this week. Oh goodness, I have like my phone is just going off like nuts. Um, gosh. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, baby bunnies in the neighbor yard. <laughs> I was like, what, what are you doing, Lauren? But baby bunnies. It's, it's a tiny baby bunny. You guys won't be able to see that, but it's a baby bunny. Um, let's see. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, you'll also learn that I lose my train of thought pretty much on the reg now. Um, oh, working out. Um, so I am scared to start working out because I know it's going to be very hard. Um, but my first workout is was supposed to be yesterday. And now it's going to have to be today. And I'm going to have to double up on my workouts or at least like do a workout and a half. Um, because we weren't really anticipating Jensen, um, having to take him to the ER on Monday morning and dealing with him being sick. So, anyway, I am going to be working on my sidebar next, but we also have two miniature dachshunds. We have Colby and Linus. They are 12 and 13. They are getting up there in age. We've had our fair share of kind of like... They haven't been major issues, but we've had some issues lately. Um, if y'all had known how much poop was going on in my house, like, it's been a lot. So, this washi is giving me life right now. I was not anticipating to love it that much, and I am, like, that's, that's gorgeous. Okay, anyway. Sidebar. Let's get into this. Um... As I'm going through my plans for the week, I don't have like a super crazy idea of what I'm going to be doing. Um, I just have things that I know that I need to get done. Oh my goodness. Um, with that being said, it's definitely a weird week. And yeah, so um, let me show you something that I've been working on. So. I've kind of been liking this. This is my first week that I did this. And it is the blank weekly trackers from Sweet Quiet Design in the regular size. And so I've just been putting the icon of what I'm doing. Like, it's more to, like, help me visualize, like, pre-plan my week out as to, like, what kind of workout is going on. Um, I don't know if I want to do it again this week. Because it really limited me on being able, like, honestly, that would be all I could put because it would take up my steps as well because this is an Itty Bitty Sticker Co. kit and it doesn't extend all the way across. Um, but I also do have these ones and these are like the little ones, the small ones. And Tasia had done them, like, obviously you could do them, like, vertically oriented that way, but she'd also done them, like, horizontally Mm, I don't know. Maybe I pass on this this week and then I can play around with it. I just don't want to be like stuck on this for, you know, well over an hour. It's going to be a long one anyway, but I don't want to make it longer <laughs> than it's going to be. Um, I'm trying to just set some things aside that I know I won't be using for the remainder of this video. Okay, so... Let's get into my week. Another thing that has happened and will play a big role in the next coming months is that my brother got engaged and he is getting married this summer. So our summer looks very busy. It looks very different than my usual summer. Um, gosh, I'm just trying to find my stuff. So, yawn. Um... We've got extra stuff for that. So, like, for example, I'm leaving this weekend to go on the Bachelorette trip. And then the week that I am planning for, which is June 5th through the 11th, uh, my husband will be gone on the Bachelor trip. So, it's just a lot of, like, um, back and forth play here um, as to who's taking care of the kids. Um, and kind of, like, what's going on with that. And then... On top of all of this, guys, we decided it would be a really, really great time to go start inquiring about moving and building a house. And when we started, like, talking about it, we kind of gave ourselves a two-month hard deadline. Um, really don't super love 
the area that we currently reside. We, it has been made difficult to move now because we have incredible neighbors that we very much enjoy like talking to and hanging out with and obviously moving will take us away from them which is really hard because we've just never like had that kind of relationship with neighbors before um so that's hard but anyway we started giving ourselves like a two-year hard deadline because I want Jensen to start his kindergarten year in the school district that I really want him to be in for schooling. I think that's mostly going straight, although I think this one might be going a little crooked. Um, so yeah, we started looking at that and then um, we decided that we wanted to build because it was going to be... Um, what we're hoping will be our forever home. I know people say that and then it ends up not being their forever home and that could very well be the case with us as well. But we're planning <laughs> for this to be kind of like our forever home. So we wanna build and have the things that we want in a home. And in talking to people about that, um, now was the time to, st <laughs> to start on this whole moving process. So we, actually stumbled upon a neighborhood on accident um, looking just driving around in the area that we wanted and we fell in love with the neighborhood we fell in love with the house designs like the floor plans um, we went and talked we fell in love with a lot <laughs> and this just happened in like a matter of like 48 hours and we put a deposit down on our lot and so that's where we're at with the whole house um, situation and it is nerve-wracking. I am terrified to build. I've heard horror stories of couples just being like drugged through the mud and not coming out of it very strong and, and having issues and it just being a very stressful process and with us having like two little kids. It's just, it's going to be a lot. Um, it's going to be a busy year. Um, so where we're at currently is we have put down a deposit on a lot that we super love and we basically have 30 days to decide the floor plan and kind of like the structural changes that we would want to make to that floor plan and then starting like the paperwork process and everything. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with the house. Um, tentatively they gave us like a like a 13 month window ish from the time that they break ground um, potentially sooner it just it's just weather dependent um, so we're looking at possibly moving late next summer um, yeah it's exciting and scary all at the same time but exciting mostly exciting um, the best parts about it is that we will be like a 10 minute drive from doorstep to doorstep from Darshell. We will be five minutes from my dad and bonus mom's house. We will be like, oh goodness, five minutes from gymnastics. We are like five minutes from daycare, five minutes from groceries, um, so many food options, different areas in Kansas City. Like, we are just in a really good location wise. And I'm very excited about that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's go into this week and I can kind of talk about planning. If there's anything that you want me to elaborate on, questions you want me to answer, topics you want me to talk about, because I guarantee there's going to be a lot of new people here um, because I am putting out videos for the first time in a really long time again. Um, so if you have any questions, drop them down below. I guess I could talk about the planner that I have, but it's a sweet quite design planner, um, undated, very, very plain, um, bare bones. Um, but yeah, let's get into my week. I need to put down a... Well, I just realized I had not been getting the horizontal size for some reason. I do PR for Sweet Koi Design and we do get the sub kits sent to us and I, I thought I had been getting the horizontal but this one is vertical. 
Um, so I'm not certain if I'm going to have room. I usually put like the book that I'm reading up here. Although, um, I've been blasting through more than a book a week. Um, not currently. I'm in between books right now, but, um, yeah, I need to pick, uh, I'll probably go with that Hello Sunshine, just because that color wasn't used up in this corner. Um, so yeah, I usually put the book that I'm reading here because, honestly, reading a book or listening to it on audiobook takes me, takes me a good chunk of the month, so, <laughs> um, I do Darshal's book club. Oh, see, that's going to be awkward spacing no matter what I do. Um, and so she has her uh, group read, her monthly group read, so I definitely do that. And then one of um, Jensen's daycare teachers has a book club. For, it's called um, Smutty Queen, so it's all like reading romance and smut and um, stuff like that. It's really kind of funny. Um, so I've joined that. So we've got those books. I just, it's been a lot of reading. Do I want to put the little sunglasses there maybe instead of putting books because I don't, there's not really going to be enough room, but the sunglasses might fit pretty perfectly. Yeah. That'll do. I don't like super love it, but I love it enough not to move it. Um, okay, so let's go into my day by days. This part should go fair, well, fairly fast. I also I will tell you guys, I plan out on my sticker books. They're not stocked up. So I have a lot of stickers in here that are just not in here. And then I have a total stack of stickers that need to go in like my big sticker books. Now some of these are in my books and some of them aren't so it's just it might be a lot of like back and forth. I'm not I'm not sure. Oh okay sorry I forgot I have my sidebar. I'm still gonna be tracking. It's okay Kayla. Really? Thank you. Thank you it's okay. Um <laughs> Oh, goodness. Man, that really threw me. I Don't interrupt me, man. Um, my sidebar. I'm going to be tracking my steps. I've not really set myself on a steps goal. Um, I'd love to hit 10,000 a day. Now I'm hitting out some days, not every day. That's just not one of the things that I've been super focused on this go around at this point. I'm just going to use a little one. See, I'm like running out of stickers. I desperately need to restock my books. Um, and then I want to focus on my water intake. That's been non-existent um, again. <laughs> so I'll have that in there. And then, gosh, it's been a while, so working out. Do I want to track the days that I work out, or do I want to track the days that I read? Ugh. Maybe I track the days that I work out and read. Ooh, maybe I do a quick clean. Let's do a quick clean, because I've been trying to do that every day. Um, that's not going super well, but it needs to be, because... Well, it just, it just needs to be. I do have a cleaning icon though. This little vacuum is going to be like the best size to go down here and yeah, we'll just do a quick clean for that. Just a room in the house or dishes or something like something's got to get done. Um, and then let's do reading because I would like to read every day. But, I also need to find the balance between everything that I want to need to do, and then I do have a few summer evaluations that I'll be helping out with at work, and so I just don't want to, like, overload myself. As much as I would love to just sit down and read my entire day, entire summer, that's not 
that's not very responsible of me. I did do that for a few weeks, and now I just, I need to not, so. Um, <laughs> let's do a planner pixie, although I am closing in on the last of my planner pixies, and Tasia is no longer making this style of sticker anymore, so sad, sad day, Monday. Uh, getting back into the routine of taking Jensen to daycare. My husband, during the school year, takes Jensen to daycare two days a week, and soon we'll be both boys, but for right now it's just Jensen, um, but takes him two days a week, and then um, I take him the rest, and then I pick up two days a week, and my husband picks up the rest, so it's, it's kind of like a 50-50 split. Um, but for right now, because I'm not working this summer, I have been asking him to take Jensen like once a week and then I'm still picking up two days a week because of like what our plans are and then um, he picks him up the rest of the week. So yeah, anyway, I should probably be picking up or dropping off, um, well, most days next week, but I'm not I'm not certain yet, so I'm not going to write it down. Only I say that only because my husband leaves for the bachelor trip on Thursday. So, anywho, the only thing, gosh, do I want to write down? I think I want to mark down the days that I'm going to work out. So normally I wouldn't be working out four days in a row, but because. My husband's going to be out of town. I don't think that I will be able to do everything on my own. So I have planned it for it's cardio, but it's also core on Monday. And then Tuesday is a yoga day. It's more, it's not like, um... Definitely more like strength, strength based yoga. Oh my poor kid, he is a moving and a grooving. Um, and then Wednesday is arms, and Thursday is it's called stroller fit. So you're like the purpose is truly really to take your child out in a stroller and do it's like lunges and. Um, quick, fast-paced walks and um, a squats with your stroller. So I actually don't mind those. I did the same program, postpartum exercise program with Jensen um, when he was born. So I kind of know what to expect. But let me put in some sort of icon for those days and then I'll write things in later. This video is already going to be long, so I need to try and like speed it up a little bit. Um, okay, so what, this was core, cardio and core, so we'll just use, um, you know what, no, we're going to use a core sticker. I love these workout girls from Fox and Cactus. And then Tuesday's yoga. Wednesday was arms. And then Thursday was the stroller walk. I'm going to do cardio on that day. Alright, so there's that. And um, I forgot that I have the weekend banner, so I want to put that down before I forget. Let's do pink. Let's do a pink weekend banner. Is that center? Nope. <laughs> There we go. Cute. Okay. So Monday, literally, literally the only thing that I have marked down that I have to do, it's not even have to do. We are celebrating my birthday at my dad's house. So 
I am going to speed you guys through just setting down um, some like random variation of stickers. Um, I usually try and put a full day or full box sticker and um, like a half box and a quarter box on each day, but we'll see. Those are mostly just like placeholder stickers um, and just because I don't know. Now I do want to put something down um, for my birthday dinner. We're going to grill out. That's about all I know. Like maybe I do want to pull in a grilling sticker. I don't think this one has one. Even though it's like summer themed, there's not a grilling sticker. So let's see. My birthday present probably won't be in on time. I didn't know that I wanted the fourth wing until everyone started talking about it, which it's a book, if you don't know. But um, by the time I decided I wanted it, um, it's sold out everywhere. So we'll see. I'm looking and I went past what I wanted. I feel like I have little grilling sti- yeah, there. Cool, I was like, I know I have them. Uh, I just want to use the little one, I think. Little Frank grilling. Um, and then I'll just put, like, birthday dinner at Dad's house or something like that. When I do write in my planner later. And then Tuesday. It's a little bit busier. I do want to put $2 Tuesday, but I don't know. I'm not really certain where. I know that I bought another sheet of... Um, Instagram stickers, but I currently don't know where they're at. So I'll talk to you guys for a second while I can try and find them. Oh, perfect. Found them. Yay! That wasn't too difficult. I like to put like my $2 Tuesday. And my freebie Friday up at the top with the typography. Now, normally, like um, the weekly kits will come with typography that say $2 Tuesday and freebie Friday, but uh, not the sub kits. Cool. So that is that. And my son, I mentioned, is now doing soccer in the morning. So. I have been marking that down with a half box. Oh, I kind of like the rainbow for soccer because then I can just like put the icon in and the time. Well, not the time. I'm not really sure when they do it. They just do it in the morning. Sorry, I know I'm off screen or out of frame. That's mostly straight. I do have the Sweet Quiet Design Soccer stickers, I believe, but I've been enjoying um, the ones from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I just have to remember where I put them. These are not super great colors to go with this, but that's okay. Let's just do, I want one that's like facing in. Let's do the orange. It's like the brightest. How cute is that? In love with that. Okay, I guess I could probably zoom you guys in. Just saying. Um, and then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing like during the day, so what I might do is put a full box there. What are my colors? I could do this one, or I 
could do a double with all of the critters. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. I might do a double on the other side. Okay, so... I don't know what I'm going to be doing during the day, but... Nothing exciting, I don't think. And then let's do a swim sticker for swim that night. We have been going to a park afterwards and having a picnic dinner. I don't know if that's what we're going to do this week. Sometimes we go out to eat. But for right this second, I'm just going to put a swimming icon down. And I just... I've been writing in the time and, and that's about it. And do I want to just put, do I want to put a quarter box? Do I want to do another half box? Mm. Mm. Ah, let's do a quarter box. I could always change my mind depending on like what we've got going on. Who knows? Yeah, no, I like that spacing better because then it gives me a good space to put some sort of icon. Although, I like staggering things. I'm not a huge fan. I'll end up happening is it'll probably put I don't know who knows if that's what it's gonna end up being like okay Wednesday um I do need to set the trash out first thing in the morning I like to do that on Tuesday I think I said Tuesday Wednesday I like to set the trash out in the morning <sighs> on Wednesday as I am getting the boys in the car. It's just been kind of a good routine for me to be able to do that. So, I've got a few different trash stickers. I'll probably use this one. This one's one of the newer ones. Simon with the trash there. And, um, I'll probably just write in, like, take the trash out or something. And... Okay, so that morning, I need to take, well, actually, I still need to talk to my bonus mom about doing it that day, but I think I have plans with Darshell that morning to go out for my birthday, so I need to take Collins over to my bonus mom's house, and she's going to watch Collins for me so that I... Sorry, I got another text message. I'm very distracted, easily distracted when things, I need to get things done. But, oh gosh, I need to drop Collins off at her house and then I am going to go out with Darshell. I think we're getting coffee and planning, I think is what uh, the situation is, which is perfect because I don't have a lack of plans that need to be back planned. So, um... I want to put a coffee sticker. I've got those really cute ones with the suns. They make me really happy. Where do I have them though? That's a question. Okay. Okay, I found them. This one with the sun. The bright, happy yellow sun. Um, yeah, I think I just want to put it there, possibly. And then the rest of the day, there's an afternoon thing at the library for craft, but I don't know. I'm going to play that by ear to see how Collins is doing, but I don't know that I'm going to take Jensen to that. Drew does have a hair appointment, so I think what I want to do, though, is make sure that I use... For like a space there. Then use the scalloped half 
box, which I can never put down straight, although that's that's decent. Um, and then do I want to use another quarter box, or do I just want to use two icons? I need to write down his haircut. He made it very clear to me the other day, because I said, I don't know when you go get a haircut. And he's like, every three weeks on Wednesday, 4 o'clock. I was like, okay, I might be able to remember that. <laughs> um... So yeah, there is Wednesday, um, and then Thursday, my husband's leaving out of town to go on the bachelor trip, and I need to give the dogs their flea and tick meds. So I'm going to put those two things up top, probably going to put the flea and tick med at the very top. Because I've, I've been awful. I don't know if I have, I don't believe I have any more flea and tick meds. No. So I'm just going to put down, oh maybe I do. Nope. Down with flea and tick meds. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just going to put down the happy pup with a reminder to do the flea and tick meds. And then I think I'm going to do just a quarter box up there that Drew is out of town or leaving out of town. Um, he's going to Nashville, I believe. I believe, maybe not. Or is it Louisville? Those are two very different places, I'm aware. Louisville, I think. Anyway, he's driving. <laughs> that's, that's what I was trying to say. Um, it's been a little nuts because Drew is in the wedding, I'm in the wedding, and now both the boys are in the wedding, or at least Jensen at the very least. Uh, so it's just been a little crazy trying to like get everything organized, but I'm going to use this one from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I've been using this sticker to mark road trips. It makes me happy. Um, so I'm going to mark that he's going out of town, but then the rest of the day... I uh, probably need to get like groceries and cleaning because I won't be able to do that on Friday. So I am just going to put down some stickers for that. What do I want to do? I don't think I want to use this one. Do I just want to use the Hello Summer one's really cute. So maybe I do that. Feels like I should put it towards the bottom though. Do I have specific plans on Friday or can I go ahead and space mark out a half box for that? Let's do a rainbow half box at the bottom of Friday just to mark in that place, kind of a placeholder. And then I'm going to put this full box here. I'm trying to line it up with the lines on that column on. Thursday. Like leaving the same amount of distance. Yeah, that's close enough. Um, and then I want to make sure to use the more teal covered. Okay, cool. Um, Friday. Oh, so there's no daycare on Friday, <laughs> which is a situation. Um, it's fine because, like, I do have the means to be able to be home. I don't have to take off work for it. I just didn't realize that there was no daycare on that day. It's working out, though. 
hopefully, um, so what I've been doing when I use this daycare sticker is I've been writing like daycare and then like script writing closed underneath it. So I need to remember to leave a little bit of space for that. But then what I believe we're going to be doing is hanging out with Darshell in the morning um, or so at, at some point. Um, with all the boys because we've not been able to do that in a hot minute um, or like ever since having Collins so gosh we've all they've had it worse like sickness wise but um, we've all had our fair share of going like back and forth illnesses so that'll be nice to hang out with them I do have an icon I can put down um, goodness like what what kind do I want I don't know what we're doing yet though so maybe I'll wait to put an icon in until I kind of know like what we're doing yeah okay cool Saturday <sighs> another thing Braley comes in town Friday super late at night I messed up I can't go get her from the airport so she had to figure that out um, but she will be staying with us Saturday through next Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday-ish, I think. So, um, I need to take Jensen to gymnastics, but I also need to pick up Braley. I also have these trampoline stickers, which I can also use for gymnastics purposes. The pink one's pretty cute. Um, probably just write in like gymnastics and the time. And then I don't know if we're picking up Braley before or after that. That's not important to put in my planner. Like I know that I have to go get her. So I don't know that I'm going to do that. Our library has this really awesome summer reading program going on. And so I've been taking Jensen to as many of like the events that we can. And that Saturday, there is a bear hunt adventure. And so I think I want to take him to that. Um, but I'll have to talk to Braley and see how she feels with that because, um, like, she'll be here with me. So I am going to just put down some random stickers for Saturday. And I will check back in. Alright, there is Saturday. Don't know our plans really for the afternoon, um, so I've just kind of left some functional space there. And then Sunday I have a brunch. It is for the Smutty Queens book club, so I want to make sure that I put that in. Do I have a full box sticker? The only one that I have in that... I just talked about Hello Summer, so I don't know that I want to put in Enjoy the Summer, so maybe we'll put this backyard barbecue one all the way at the bottom, because I haven't done that yet. Um, I was hoping for a functional full box to be able to put the brunch on, but that's okay. Um, so, let's do... Do I want to do one more rainbow? Do I? Do I? Yes. Yes, I do for brunch. So we'll go and we'll talk about the book that we read, although I haven't started it yet, so that's a thing. I just got it in the mail. I have another book that I had already started, so I kind of feel like I want to finish that one first, but I don't know that I'll have time to read both of them, but I'll have to make time for both of them, I guess. Cool. So I, I do want to put a brunch sticker, although the one that I want to use, I'm out in my size in the, um, my, like, sticker books, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to use a different one, I guess, is what I should say. Um, so let's do... Oh... 
maybe I want to put like a half box here and then a quarter box above that. Like the, um, the scalloped one. And then there's still space to do something there. Perfect. Okay, let me zoom out for you guys. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I know that this was a very rambly. Um, please forgive me because I haven't done this in a very long time. But I think that this turned out super well. Like, I'm very excited to write in this. Um, this. These colors are fun. I think that washi, honestly, though, makes the whole kit. Um, but yeah, I... Guys, I, I hope you've enjoyed. I was not expecting the amount of support that I got when I posted on Insta Stories that I was clearing my desk so that I would be able to plan again. I've missed this. Planning became like a chore to me and that's not how I ever want planning to be because that's my self-care. If my self-care starts becoming a chore, something's wrong. So this made me feel really good inside and I'm glad to be able to put content out for you guys again. Um, and I'm not, we're not having any more kids, so we're not going to be doing this. So I, I can't say that it will happen every single week um, once school starts back up in August. But more times than not, there should be a plan with me and I should be able to stick with this for as long as you guys want to watch me and for as long as I can do it. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything you want me to talk about, please, please, please comment below so I have stuff to talk about. Otherwise, they end up being like sped through voiceovers, which I know are not as fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next week with another plan with me. Bye, guys.